Alright, where am I? Okay, so I'm here. Not bad. Not a bad spot to be in. Oh! So I already killed everyone. Glorious! Thank God! So I don't have to, like, worry. Alright. So I can just move on from here. That's glorious. That's beautiful. That's sexy. I love it. Alright. I'll come back to any other things. Um... So let's go from the boss fight, which I'm pretty sure I'm very low leveled for, but they're putting me in anyway, so fuck it. <sighs> Here we go. Let's let's do this. Please move, please move, please move. Ah. Finally, feed from the fucker! Oh my god! Shit, this this boss, I just I can't. Oh my god, my brain. I just ugh. okay. Alright. <sighs> because he's level six and I'm level four, but the thing is they've given me no other Oh my god, and they all respond. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious they all respond? Oh my god. Oh fucking murder me. Just murder me softly. <laughs> Stamina, can you please just stop being a thing? Oh my god, this is just... Ugh. Combat's jank. The combat's very jank. Why did I do that? I wasted my fucking power. Give me your fucking blood. Should've eaten the rats. Maybe I should've. Maybe I should've eaten the rats. That should've been a thing I did. My god. There's so many things I could've done. But of course, I'm a stupid idiot. It's like, ugh. No, Michaela, I know what I'm doing. I'm a gamer. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Give me your fucking blood. God damn it. Okay, there we go. Give me that. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Did I already get this part stuff? Please tell me I got this stuff. It's locked. I did not get this stuff. So I'm gonna have to do through all this again. Uh. Tippet has made an error. Oh, I already got it. Error. Okay, whatever. It's Here lies Michaela Laws. Died of game being an absolute ass. Like, quite literally. Like, holy shit. I'm actually kind of mad how, like, broken this game kind of is. Eh, but whatever. Like, I'm just... Can I not go in here? No? Okay. Dude, no, like, yeah, I was like, holy crap. Okay, so back here, nothing here. Okay, cool. 
So it's just the boss fight that I have to deal with. Uh, Alright. Now that I have sun blood on me, maybe I can actually survive. So I know he, he made it shadow's front comes from the back. Okay. Feed from you fucker! Come here! Dead? These skulls can be so Holy bad. shit! I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Can I can I like stab you in the face multiple times from how difficult that was? Oh my god. Really? That was way too difficult. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Alright, I'm not teleporting there again. God damn it. I'm not breaking my game again. Oh my god, that was annoying. That was like too annoying. Oh my lord. Oh my days! I have to teleport there. Okay. Huh! Alright, formula. God damn it. That was annoying. Oh, workbench, thank god. Crafting. Alright. You have enough to craft your medicine, treatment for fatigue. Alright. Okay. Don't have anything for anything else. Can I? Okay, so. Okay. More light blood serum. Um, yes, girl, yes. Pretty much. It's like, holy god, that was way too much. Oh my god. Cold, bronchitis, and pneumonia. Well, that's nice that I have crafting cures for that. Alright. Can I upgrade this? No, that's much any. What am I doing? Um, I don't have any com- I need more stuff. Uh, recycle, recycle, recycle. Right, do I have enough for anything in here? No? Okay. Um, can I read this? Yes, I can. I'll take it. Um, I do- I need more aluminum powder. Good. But I like the steak. I actually like the steak. Having the steak. Alright. Great. Alright. Is there anything else up here that I need, can have, can grab, can take, can caress lovingly? All right, so I guess I, I, I guess I'm done. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Wish I could teabag you. Holy shit! I wish I could teabag you. My God, that was just annoying. You all saw how annoying that was, right? Oh my God. <laughs> That means there are more there are more up here. Yep. Come here. I have to deal with all of you one by one. Ah, get off. Get off. Ugh. 
one thing I hate about games, stamina. That stamina is actually a thing. All right, so I got medicine, got a watch that I can break apart. Okay, there should be nothing else here, so I'm gone. Let's head back. What am I doing? Going back the wrong way. Going back this way. Open the door. Cool. Ah. Jesus. Well, it's been an hour, so that means I can now finally watch my friends play this game. Mm -hmm. I saw a shiny thing. What is this? Public notice. Prevent influenza. Spanish. Cover each cough and sneeze with a handkerchief. Walk to work. Do not spit. Drink in from your own cup. Avoid crowds. If taken ill, go to bed and send for a doctor. To make a mask, take a piece of ordinary cheesecloth, 8 by 16 inches, fold it to make a 8 by 8 inches. Next, fold this to make 8 by 4 inches. The core is about 10 inches long in each corner. Apply over mouth and nose as shown in the picture. Issued by the LLC Board of Health. How nice. Alright, so now I can return back to the, 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 the place that I need to go. Where am I going? <laughs> I'm going the opposite direction. Like an idiot. Go back the other way. Alright, here we go. Boop! Open up thing. Get into- Open the door, please! Get on the floor, and then everyone can do the dinosaur. There we go. Alright. No. Dr. Edgar. That's not Pippa. Oh, I thought I do- I don't- I do need to talk to Pippa. She's- Pippa? Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, doctor. Um... Back. Uh, you, you live in London. How's your situation? How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? Um... How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke already, Hospital? Did I it's serious. It? Yeah, I already fucked this one. God damn it. <laughs> I clicked the wrong one again! Patients. We are running out of everything. Alright, don't click on that one again. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. Um... You'd be surprised what dedication can achieve Nurse Hawkins. In medicine, sometimes we're just Surely, I don't mind. away from a miracle. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Why does Milton dislike doctors? Well, I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's born <laughs> of course about a bad reputation. Well. Whether he deserved it or not. Milton Hooks. Information. Let's see. Hmm. Healthy. Do you need medical help yourself, nurse? I'm fine, really. I just need to sleep. Okay. Pepper, are you sure you want to leave this hospital? To become a nurse was a little girl's dream. But in the end, I don't feel that useful. I want more. I want to make things change. You should be proud of what you've achieved. This hospital represents hope for many people in need of help. Maybe you're right. But at the moment, I feel like we're just a cemetery waiting room. Hmm. 
Hold on, let's see. She feels useless as a nurse at the beginning of the epidemic. She's thinking about quitting Pembroke Hospital. But I have a social circle. Milton... Looks... Okay. Oh, so Milton's the guy who... Okay, so Milton... Okay, 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 okay. I'm good. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. So, I gotta find Milton. Where would Milton be? There's Pippa. Hold on. How do you get to know everyone here? I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Hmm? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Are you? Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? I have no need for your medicine, Dr. Reed. Blood is the only drug I need. Interesting. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. <laughs> Sounds like me. It's like, well, I'm vampire too, bitch! <laughs> that would be me. All right. There's, okay, so there's Milton. Okay, I think Milton's the one I had to give the, 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 the wallet to. Milton! Hey, buddy. I think I have something of yours. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm that, not sure that, I understand okay. what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Oh! I found your wallet! I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money, and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not no. at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Oh. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Interesting. Huh. Huh. Milton's reputation is mediocre amongst his colleagues. Milton and the nurse are a couple. Interesting. Um, and the blood quality gives me so many XP, but I don't want to, like, drain them. Interesting. Oh, she, her, you need to, like, be a level three mesmerizing for her. My goodness. And the blood quality is a influence, but, huh. Interesting. Let's go back in <laughs> What the fuck? Um. What do you got? I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Okay, so I can buy, ooh, I can buy all of this stuff. Oh man, that's got that's cost so much. Why would you cost it? So this is where all the you can get all the money stuff. Okay. But that's so expensive. What the frick? Oh my god. I'm uh, I don't know. I'll buy this. This. And all of your th this. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just- why not? Because I don't see me using shillings for anything but Milton. No, okay. Tippets. You're the motherfucker that I need to deal with. Okay, hold on. First of all, I need to go rest, eventually. Um, but there's a merchant there, that's good. Hideout, there, good. Night shift. The patient's room, okay. We need to talk, good sir. You fucking malpractice motherfucker. 
Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. Yes. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Do we? Dr. Tippett's, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. May it cost Mr. Connor his life. So he is a problem in my book. I'm not gonna mention the middle card until I get more information Goodbye, about this guy. I want to see if I can nail this guy completely, then mesmerize him, drink his blood, and rid the world of his stupidity, because malpractice is nothing to shake a stick at. I say as I remember playing doctor and saying that I was better. <laughs> Where the fuck is this girl? There's Sean. Oh my god, where is this girl? You are going to reveal all your secrets to me. Even the darkest thoughts in your heart. My blood and soul. They belong to you now. The life running in your veins. This dead flesh needs it. Oh, please spare me, Dark Queen. Please, spare your obedient slave. Oh. It's locked, all right. Someone help? I heard someone help. Who am I helping? Excuse me. Am I helping someone? Hello? 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 Hello. Hi. Good evening, Mr. Cox. Hi. Dr. Reed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting. Yeah. One way or another. Yeah. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? It's fatigue, but I don't have that right now. Not yet. I don't have oh, one yet. I will see you later. He has I'll fatigue, so I gotta get now, him. Mr. I gotta get him some medicine. But, but there is someone. Doctor Reed will help straighten things out in Pembroke. Remember. That's Peppa. Well, that's well, where is... Believe is me. this... Wait. No, that's not you. Where is this bitch? Where is this bitch that I'm trying to, like, get answers for? Get this, like, antiseptic for? See, Stella doing God knows what. Nope, I'm just going to ignore the shit out of that. Gigantic, biggest... Nope. Gigantic. Nope. Okay. This way? Is she this? Move! Let's see. You? No. No. What? Doctor. So hey. You the word Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Okay. Diseases decreases blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medicine to heal him. Speak to the patient behind the medical sentence. Will do. Hey, friend. Not you. Not you. 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 Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Okay. 
Interesting. He's recovering, no blood loss, good. Interesting. Goodbye. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good job. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go up. Oh, blood temptation. Remember, citizens' blood will provide you a massive XP boost. Look for citizens for your mesmerized level or below and choose wise. I don't want to. You can't make me. I want to be a good boy. God damn it. It's like, I want to be a good boy. I want to be a good boy who does, who drinks his vegetables and does the nice good things. <laughs> then be a good boy. I will be a good boy. I am going to be best boy. <laughs> Who's a good boy? I'm a good boy. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got in here. Um, can I open this up? No, I can't. Can I look at this? What is it? My door open. Okay. See, I can actually make more of these. Good. Yeah, I can make a bunch of fatigue ones. I know I know he needs one. Um, let's see what else I can do here. No. Let's. Um Nope, okay. Um, then, just in case, nope. This is anything? Nope, okay. Okay. Um, alright, so we need more sodium hypochloride solution. And be a good boy. <laughs> Call and run without rats. Call and run without rats. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I feel ya. It's just like, this is gonna be tough. This will be very, very tough. But let me look a level up. Hopefully, maybe this will bring me something. Okay. Now I can level up stamina. Well, I need, okay. Increase my stamina. I need this a lot. But for, let me bring up my Shadow Mist. Because Shadow Mist has been helping me a lot. So I have enough to bring up Shadow Mist. And I have enough to bring up... Um... Yeah, I have enough to bring up Shadow Mist. I can't bring up Shadow Mist because what am I missing? Level 8 required. Damn it! Whatever. Alright, um, what else can I do? Blood Barrier. You know what? I'm going to bring up my stats first and I'm going to bring up Shadow Mist as my main. Um, what, what, what? Hello? Necro, thank you so much for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Fluffle Army. Um, feel free to spread my evil throughout the world with my evil bunny emote. And join us in the Fluffle Army den on Discord. Thank you so much. All right. I can't level this up. Level 6 required. Of course. So basically, I just have to level up all my shit. So I'm going to bring up my stamina. Okay. I'm going to bring stamina up a lot because I feel like I'm going to need my stamina a lot. Okay. Bring that up. Um, I'm going to bring my bite. Up. Okay. Um. I'm gonna bring more, get more of a drink whenever I try. I'm gonna bring me more blood. Okay. Um. Don't need syringes. Um. I think. Blood capacity. I'll do damage. Alright. I'll take it. I'll take that. Rose Billy, who's a bitch boy? The following- Oh, they're actually still counting each night. Major district events. Each night, consequences of your action may improve or degrade the health status. It must be degraded. Okay. Alright. Interesting. Okay. Healthy. Okay. So I need to actually go back outside. Now I'm level 7! What the fuck? Alright. Investigation succeeded. Um, Alright. I'm gonna go downstairs really quick talk to Jamie Cox. Because hopefully he's still down there. I hope he's still down. But my stamina's up good. Because I can deal with health. I just need the stamina. So. Jamie! Mr. Cox! Hey, buddy, I know you got some, like, fatigue going on here. I got you. I got you. Hi, Doc. 
Um, hey, um... You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? I'm gonna give you your medicine. Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. But don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. Really? Nah, I'm good. Huh? Pigman, thank you so much for following. You weren't following me before? But thank I'll you. Leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Thank you. Bye. Go heal up now. Okay. So. Now what do I do? So now that I've done that, I'm level 7 now, but I'm pretty sure I need to be higher level. So let me see if I... Do I need to talk to every single person here? Good we evening. fattened him enough to feast on him? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. Oh, great. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. Hmm. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Interesting. I'm good. Goodbye, thinking. nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Literally. All right. Let's uh, let's get out here and let's go talk to Swansea. Yeah, let's go talk to Swansea and see what he wants with me. Hello, Swansea. You want to talk, buddy? Ooh, I saw that. You think I didn't see you? Ooh, Ferris Star Turret. Um, do this stuff just re get reset? Do, do all of the chests get reset? Are you shitting me? Well, that means I get to run around and look at these chests real quick. Hold on. Hold up. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a nice touch if they literally just get reset every single day. That means I can make more medicines and shit. Ooh! T.L. Woods medical file. Yay, my reading! Oh! Ah, no! My headphone came off! Why? Oh my god, go back in there. Get it, get back in the hole. Get in the hole. You get in the hole, please. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, <laughs> um all right, let's see what's going. I'm a motherfucking vampire. I can't be able to attain this title and not be just as such. Literally. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and look for three modeling and stuff. It's all good. Thanks for coming. Alright, let's see. T. Elwood's medical file. Patient Thomas Elwood, male, age twenty-eight, followed by Dr. Teppitz. Status convalescence. Date of admission, September 16th. Date of release, to be determined. Note, the patient's face has been heavily burnt and disfigured by a bomb during the war. Even with the use of the strongest sedatives, he affirms to regularly endure severe pain from the wounds as if the flames are still burning under the skin, he says. Examinations of the um, citrus-sized tissues show no trace of inflammation, infection, or swelling. Scars are clean. Could it be a case of persisting nerve damage? The patient never ceases to blame himself for his disfiguration. Could it be a case of guilt of the survivor? Phantom, fain, phantom pain manifesting as a punishment for not dying with his comrades. That's depressing. Thomas Elwood. All right. So I have your medical bun flies. But that's interesting. So days go by. There actually is a date count, date count on all the things that I can do. So that's an interesting twist. It's locked. Just kidding. All right. Thanks, poor guy, I know, right? No one will, ever wants to experience that. Let's head downstairs. And let's go this way. Since I know things get upgraded now. Codeine. I go outside, don't want to go outside. Codeine. So every time I level up, I go to sleep and the day passes. So that's something that I need to recognize. Um. Yeah. About the use of garlic and wooden stakes. There's a lot of reading here, guys. I apologize to anyone who, who didn't want to come here to see you a reading stream. All right, let's see. <clears throat> okay. Dear brothers, I must now draw your attention to a very important point. The use of garlic as a protection against vampires. Let's be crystal clear on the subject. 
Garlic will never protect you against those creatures. No matter how fresh, how strong, or and how smelly, garlic is totally useless as a defense. I can never say enough how damaging that novel of Bram Stoker has been. Yes, of course, population of Slavic countries place garlic cloves in coffins. Yes, of course, inhabitants of the of Sanaturini Island hang garlic in their windows. There would be so much to write about this place, and someday soon. I hope to go back this island. Go. I hope to go back to this island to further explore its occult tradition. But that is not to protect the living from the devil. It is to tell the dead that they are aware of their malevolence. It is a symbol. Nothing more, and nothing less. So yes, please, by all means, yes, wear garlic, show garlic, hang garlic, and tell the shadows that you are not afraid. But if you are looking for a supernatural protection, you will have to search much deeper than the forgotten secret of the occult tradition. For here is the truth, my fellow brothers. Garlic does not repel vampire, but all the fresh plants will hurt them. It is as if their body could not stand the presence of botanical elements. I have seen an enraged vulp flee when whacked with a rose. Yes, a simple rose. I have witnessed a violent econ fall down and beg for mercy when struck by a wooden stake. I don't know why it is so effective. And I would give my left arm to find an answer to that mystery. But the truth remains nevertheless. Vampires are very sensitive to fresh herbs, plants, and woods. From Facing the Shadows of How and Why by Usher Talltree, Primate of St. Paul. Interesting. Huh, so they're going with that route. They're going with that route. Duh. A giant Goodbye. mole disguised as a hospital. Say her again. That's Pembroke nowadays. You holding up good? Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. Lord. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Interesting. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again. We'll talk again later. Interesting. All right. All right, let's, let's keep running around. Ooh, more things to make. More hydrology solution. More things I can grab. More things I can just nab and... Please move. Or not. Okay. I totally don't mind that. But in the circumstances, I'm sure there's a difference doubt. Can I grab things from here? I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. You're fine. You'll be okay. You'll, you'll be okay. Oh, sweet girl. Let's see. Freaks me like a book. So every character in here has a story. That's actually really unique and very nice to have in this game. Not gonna lie. Because this game could be so quick if you don't look at all the characters. So I like that the fact that they've added all of these stories to kind of back up and try to make you think, like, you are a doctor in this area. You have to help. Um, so I really appreciate that. Um, let's head up. Oh, God damn it! I went the wrong way again. It's fine. All right. All these stories, all this reading, I know, right? It's like the game wants us to have a lore. <laughs> I'm gonna make some food. Be right back. Take your time. Make your make your, make your food. Make your food. All right. Let's let's make some cures. What cures? Are I can cure anemia. I'll cure an, I'll cure for anemia and a cure for fatigue. Um, might as well have some cures for those. Okay, so I just need more stuff for fatigue, anemia, sepsis. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Back. Let's go back. All right. Let's see how many people I can cure um, with just the stuff that I have alone. Downstairs. All right. Let's figure out how many, what patients have what. That way I can have a list of things that I can do to cure them slowly but surely. More boxes. Celexine. Okay. That's outside. Don't want to go outside. Um. This dead flesh needs it. Oh, please. Unknown health status. Spare your Let's figure out what you have. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm. Rich, vibrant blood. 
Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? I have no need for your medicine, Doctor. Can I stay here? I have a bad nightmare. Do you can stay here? The yeah. Drug I I'm pretty much gonna be streaming for a long while, so I have no idea who you are. This 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 girl is weird. Who are you really? Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Hmm. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Hmm. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. Really? And you think it is I who am delusional. Hmm. Thumb is affected by culture and believes she's a vampire. Okay. So she has a mental disorder. Okay. He's recovering. Everyone here is kind of okay. All right, all right, I'm good. Okay. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Okay. I'm falling asleep. Good night. Have a good night. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face, no. I don't think you can help me. I'm Doctor Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Interesting. Soldier, do you need assistance? I'm fine. Just do something for this pain, will you? That's all I'm asking. Hmm. How close are you to Miss Hawcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. While I'm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. Hmm. So do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. Hmm. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Cotard Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Huh. That's kind of sweet. Kind Where of. were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. 
Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Beauty is not everything, Mr. Elwood. Says Mr. Pretty Face. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars, if you get my drift. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. All Goodbye right. for now, Mr. Elwood. Interesting. Disgust on every street corner. Hmm. The daily All right, thing. so... Let's figure that time has lost its effect on me. No, but the suffering continues. Now there's a bunch of doctors that I don't know. Do I know you? Dr. Reed, may I help you? Oh, it's Dorothy. Hi. Uh, bye. I'll see you later, Nurse Crane. Didn't know that was you. Alright. Hey. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Is there anything else that's bothering you? Can I want to jump into this game and hug these people oh, literally. All right. Considering the state of this place, I should consider myself lucky, I guess. You seem worried about the safety of your family, and it's obviously the reason why your wound troubles you so much. I cannot give up on my children now. They both need me living. What about their mother, if I may ask? She died in 1915 during one of the first Zeppelin raids. We never found her body. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. I was in the army, building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. How are your children after losing their mother? They were smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Helen didn't bring them with her that night. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. 
Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is, I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. Interesting. Sorry that I'm really quiet, guys. Like, it's really interesting to see, kind of, what's going on. Yeah, Goodbye Harvey, for I've, now, Mr. Fiddick. I feel I'll bad for later. all of these patients. Sweet girl. Brief me like a book. 